in addition to the buy pill and this chinese product plus the in this video i'm going to show you all the organic spray and the chemical spray i've used so far to control pests in this cabbage farming journey with you this is debbie and you're watching expert africa so when it comes to cabbage farming the key to cabbage farming is pest control if you're able to put your pests under control you'll be able to make good yield in your cabbage farm but if you're not able to do that then you are going to lose in this cabbage farming game so i'm going to share all my experience with you and show you all the chemicals i have used so far in this farming in this cabbage farming journey that i started some months ago anyway if you decide to use any of these chemicals you can consult your, your agronomist first before you you decide to use any of the information i'm going to share with you let's get started so the first and ever pest attack i experienced in my cabbage farming was the aphids it was one of the difficult pest attack i experienced because i i wasn't expecting that it's a soft-bodied insect that normally hide under the leaves of the cabbage so you always see it at the back of the leaves like this and they are a lot so whenever you you see that your your leaves are folding and uh, the plants are not growing check behind your 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 cabbage leaves and you see them under the leaves or hanging under your leaves under leaves and what they do is to do to suck the sap of the cabbage leaves and affect the the growth of your cabbage so i experienced that three to four weeks after i finished my transplanting and it took over the whole farm almost all the crops were affected and it was something very difficult i had to deal with i tried so many chemicals but it seems it was not working anytime i use i use the required uh, dosage uh, with the water it seems it's to me it seems it was not working and when you, i reduce the quantity of water and i, I increase the quantity of the or the chemical it what it does is bear to bend the crop and at the same time destroy the the insect so at the end of the day that didn't also work for me i tried so many ways at, at, at this time i felt like giving up on this uh, plant or this this farm because it was too much for me almost all the crops and they were not just um growing this is too much So at the end of the day, I got, I have to put all the chemicals together and use it at once. So I, I, I that time I used, I combined Lambda with Lambda plus Optima with Bipel plus this Chinese product. That's what I used at that time, at that time to combat this aphids. It was one of the difficult things I have to deal with. Then the next best attack that I experienced was the cabbage worm. This worm, what it does is to, to eat the leaves of the cabbage and also create holes in the cabbage leaves. So whenever you start seeing that, that means you are experiencing, you have cabbage worms in your farm and you have to find ways and means to deal with that. So with that, I also started um, using different chemicals, plus the lambdas. And that was when I also introduced this chemical, the, the abamate, and then this chemical, the e-master in addition to the chemicals i was using so sometimes i put all the chemicals together and I, I i sprayed it one or sometimes i i do it maybe three chemicals at a go and so far that's what i've been using to control the cabbage worms and the next pest attack that i was i started experiencing or i'm still experiencing is that before we continue our farmland is still available you can do coconut you can do palm you can also do maize um rice cashew plus other crops there so if you are planning to go into farming and you don't have any land yet you can get in touch with me i'll take you through the process a very simple process you get your own and you can start preparing your land this time from november december you, you have to start preparing your land down so that by next year uh, next year february or march you can start your planting so that you can be able to take advantage of the rains the leaf miners this is quite difficult you can see from these leaves you see uh, this white white thing sometimes they they create tunnels 
things on the leaves if you start seeing something like this some whitish things on your cabbage leaf then you are you're having leaf minus attack on your cabbage crop and and that is also quite difficult to deal with so with the leaf minus i remembered i had a neem oil some time ago so i have to go back into my things and then look for my neem oil and i, I added it to the chemicals i'm using and that's what i'm using to combat the the leaf minus attack so far so this is the neem oil i i got it is i got it for some time ago what if if you ask me where i got it i won't I, I won't be able to tell you because it was somebody that gave it to me and i was using it to control pest attack when i was doing tomatoes farming here so i combined that with the chemicals and then i i started using it to control the leaf miners the next pest attack i experienced was the flea brittles this pests are also very tiny and what they do is to eat the leaves of the cabbage leaving holes in the leaf just like the cabbage worms and it makes your cabbage look unattractive and also prone to diseases so with that one too i also use some of these chemicals i i combine i also got the i also got this chemical the warrior in addition to these chemicals to use to combat all this um this pest attack these are the pest attack i've experienced so far in my cabbage farming the next attack i had was the cabbage disease that's the black rot this rot often comes either light brown or dark brown in color it affects the head of the cabbage and so whenever you start seeing something like that that means you have a a, a a black rot and you need to control it with that if you notice one or two of your cabbages experiencing that what you have to do is to um take it off from the farm before it spreads it spreads very fast it's called bacteria and fungi so with this black rot i got a fungus Side and i decided to use it to control the black rot so so uh, this is a fungicide i added to the chemical the the warrior the neem oil then we also have the amber met and <laughs> please don't ask me i have a lot of chemicals here. they also have the dust band so i mix all together and then use it to spray the the farm if you don't want to experience any of these things or you want to minimize the pest attack in your cabbage farm then you need to prevent that try as much as possible to prevent that from happening you can prevent but sometimes you might end up experiencing one or two but it do not be massive like some of the the first attack i i experienced so the first thing you have to do is to practice crop rotation you're already into cabbage farming and you're planning to do another cabbage again the next season what you can do is you you can plant non cusferous vegetables like the lettuce and other leafy vegetables to control the the pest uh, the pest build up in the farm that is very important if, and then the next thing you can do is to also practice hygiene so if you uh, you touch any of the cabbages that has been infected by especially fungi or the black rot or any other disease make sure you you wash your hands very well before you touch any other crop and also separate those cap those affected ones from the the healthy ones so that it doesn't spread throughout the farm and then the next thing you have to do is to scout your farm every day and check your cabbage leaves the both in the inside and outside the back of the leaves if you have any pest attack you can be able to control it early and then if you also find any of these cabbage worms you can kill them with your hands before it spreads into the entire farm another thing that you can use to prevent according to the research i made was uh to plant compound onion crops in the cabbage farm like the uh, like some onions garlic and then other um, plant within the cabbage farm to control or to deter some of the pests away so now let's look at some of the organic spray i use in this farm so the main organic spray i use was the the neem oil this is the neem oil so you if you know any of some anyone that is into organic farming you can ask the person to um help you locate some to use if you want to use there are other organic sprays in the market that you can you, you can get if you don't want to use the neem oil you, there are other organic sprays that you can get to use in the farm if you are not getting access to the organic spray then you can follow on the chemical spray to use when you get any of this chemical spray you have to read the label well before you start applying and then also read the the, the instructions well before you start applying especially uh, those ones meant for cabbage you know so uh, some of them are 21 days in some are 15 days interval before using some are 
uh, two weeks some are five days interval so depending on the chemical you are using okay so if you know that you're going to um, have you'll be harvesting this crop in the next five days make sure you use a chemical that has less like two days interval or five days interval but if you use a chemical that has 15 days interval that is that will not be ideal for the public or that will not work for the for the consumption that will not help consumption so if you're using a 15 days interval um, spray that means that when you, um, the, your next day of harv harvesting which should be in the next 15 days so that it will not, ha not harm anyone in cases where you don't have access to the organic spray then you can fall on the chemical spray like i said and the timing should be in the morning early in the morning or late in the evening that is when you can be able to trap most of this pest in using the chemical spray try as much as possible to use protective gears like the the gloves you use there the nose marks you also use the goggles if you have some in handling some of these chemicals so these are the chemicals i have used so far i've been using das band and i'm also using abamed and i'm also using warrior super War yeah, warrior super and then this is an organic spray that's the name oil and i'm also using e master apart from these chemicals i'm i'm out of um optima lambda and lambda i've been using that one too in addition to this one so the combination it just come by inspiration sometimes I, I combine this uh, three to get three different chemicals together sometimes i combine four chemicals together in addition to the buy pill and then the, this chinese product plus the this fungicide to control the black rot in the farm so before this high pest attack in this farm i was spraying almost every two days but when i noticed that the, the population was becoming too much or it was increasing i decided to spray every single day for this whole week i've been spraying every day to put the pest pest under control and i uh from from what i have seen so far the population have reduced so if you're also experiencing any pest attack in your cabbage farm what you can do is to spray almost every day till you put the pest under control then you can be able to make it go back to two days interval or three days intervals okay so if you want to excel in cabbage farming the key is your pest control if you're able to put your pest under control you are going to win in this cabbage farming journey but if you're not able to make it that is going to be a financial loss to you if you have found this video helpful don't forget to give me a big thumbs up by liking this video comment in the comment section and share this video with families and friends who need this information if you have any question or you want to share your experience with cabbage pest control let us know that in the comment section until next time happy cabbage farming